kind of uh, freaky obsessed. All right. So we've identified the variable that has a coefficient of 1. Now we solve for that variable. So I basically just go over here and say 2x plus y equals 4. To solve for y, all I simply need to do is subtract the 2x. And therefore, I obtain y equals negative 2x plus 4. I'll put that in green um, rather than using that little box thing I did. Um, hopefully, that wasn't too confusing. So now, we know what our quantity y is equal to. We're going to plug what y is equal to into the other equation. So the first equation I did was this one. We're going to plug in what the quantity is equal to to y in this top equation. So, that's gonna, so therefore, I rewrite the top equation, 3x plus 5 times y, what y equals, which is a negative 2x plus 4. And that is equal to 13. Now I simplify and solve. Apply distributive property. 3x minus 10x plus 20 equals 13. Um, 3x minus 10x is going to be a negative 7x plus 20 equals 13. Subtract 20, subtract 20. Negative 7x equals a negative 7. Divide by negative 7, divide by negative 7. x equals negative 1. Kind of going through that pretty quickly. Positive 1, you're right. A negative divided by negative is a positive. Absolutely correct. So now that we have a positive 1, now we know what x equals. So we want to figure out what y equals. So again, we go to the problem where y, where y is isolated, and we plug in the value of x back in for x here, where y equals 2. So therefore, I have y equals negative 2 times 1 plus 4. Well, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 4 is positive 2. So y equals 2. So that would be your solution. Um, since it's a coordinate point, you could also write the solution, or since you have an x and a y, you could write it as a coordinate point 1, 2. So that would be the point where they're at intersection if you were to graph that. Does that make sense? Yes? No? Maybe so? 